Hello, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for dropping by. Well, one comment I keep getting quite often actually, well, it, often enough that I've actually decided to make a video of it, and that is the EQ mount. Now, I know a lot of you are have, still having a lot of trouble with your EQ mount. You're just not getting on with it. You simply don't like the way it works. Well, there is a little secret built into most EQ mounts that you can actually turn these into what's known as an Alt-As mount. Now, an Alt-As mount just simply means up, down, left and right. If you've ever used a camera tripod or, or a phone um, on, a, on a tripod, you just go up, down, left, right. Well, you can turn your equatorial mount into a more user-friendly mount just like that. Now, like I say, most EQ mounts will turn into an Altaz mount, um, but some don't. Uh, all the ones I've come across, especially entry-level um, equatorial mounts, such as this one, this is the EQ2 mount, um, you're going to have no trouble. And to be honest with you, it's so simple to turn one of these into an EQ mount, you're just going to say, why didn't I think of that before? Now it's uh, really easy on this EQ mount, uh, on this EQ2 as you will see. Uh, like I say, some, some of your mounts may be a little bit more uh, fiddly, but like I say, it's, it's a two minute job. Um, it's it's not, nothing uh, hard at all, trust me. Uh, the other thing I'd like to point out, you can turn it back to an equatorial mount if you don't like it as an Altaz. Uh, so without further ado, let me show you how easy it is to turn an EQ into an Altaz. Now I've just taken the uh, main telescope off the mount just for demonstration purposes. Um, but when you do do that, if, you're, if you do take your telescope off, whenever you're stripping a um, equatorial mount down, it's always advisable to lock it all off. Um, I'll just undo this bottom one just to turn it around. As you can see, you've got these locking screws which do one movement, you know, um, if I just undo that. You know, you've got these, this movement and that movement. Um, so find those locking nuts that lock them off and lock them off before removing the telescope tube because an equatorial mount is, is balanced. And uh, obviously if you take, suddenly take the uh, um, tube off, counterweights can spin round, hit you in the face, knock the telescope out of your hand, all kinds of things can happen. So just take care when you, you know, lock these off. It's always advisable. Now the next step you need to do um, is remove your counterweight. You're not going to need it. Um, whoops. I'd rather drop that little screw than this. <laughs> Put it that way. Yeah, so remove your counterweight um, and you're virtually there, believe it or not. Um, because your next step is your latitude. Now your latitude is where you would set, it, it's this hand and layer of an equatorial mount and it's where you would put, point it towards the North Star or the Pole Star or Polaris or Polaris, <laughs> however you want to pronounce it. Um, now normally this is locked off and you would never ever touch this once it's set unless you moved country or something. Uh, but for to set it up into an Altaz, we're gonna unlock that Totally unlock it. Now, the adjustment screw for that is round the back. It's, uh, and again, yours may differ for, for how it looks. And as you can see, as I move that, you can see it's altering uh, the, the latitude or the handle or the degrees of, uh, of the mount there. Now, you may need, what we're going to do is set it to um, 90 degrees, if you like. Now, as you can see on an EQ2 mount, once you've undone this, you can simply tilt the mount back like that. And that's it, folks. you would now set in Altaz mode. The only thing, and I, and I do uh, continue watching this video towards the end because there's a few little warning things I want to point out. Uh, now, the first one is, um, lock this off again, okay? You need to really lock this off. Once this is set at 90 degrees, lock it off um, because you don't want this thing falling forward. Now, as you can see, you don't need the counterweight now. And 
Once I unlock these, you can see where the telescope now pivots and it pivots on that uh, same axis that was on, uh, uh, in my case, a 52 degree angle. But with it being straight up, now we're in Altaz. So what I'll do now, I'll just quickly jump cut, I'll put the telescope back on and uh, I'll show you exactly how to use this thing. So as you can see, we are now in Altaz mode. Now to simply turn from left to right, you would like to say move left and right. It's as easy as that. And you're up and down, it's just up and down. Um, as you can see, this is so much easier for a uh, beginner to start getting used to the night sky and looking through a telescope because, you know, there is a little bit of a learning curve just looking through a telescope with the night sky. It's a lot different than using it in the daytime. And having a mount now where it all makes sense, hopefully is going to make life a lot more easier for a few of you. Now, I did mention some little danger points, especially with this EQ2 mount here. Um, now, if I spin it round, I think it'd be best if I spin it round and show you what may happen to yours and to be aware of it. Um, so I'll just spin that round to there. Now, remember folks, this, this um, underneath your tripod once that's locked off, you don't touch that. The only reason why I'm touching it now is obviously I'm just showing you different parts of the mount instead of having to pick the entire thing up and twisting it around. So leave that locked up. Remember all the movements from the mount now. Um, that could go back a bit further. Right. Um, <laughs> lost my thread a bit there. Yes, the danger point is this here. If you take it or you put too much weight onto here you can see that if you don't lock that off uh, which is your latitude locking thing if i just release that a little bit like that you can see that sometimes it can drop over like that and all kind of things can happen um, now the way to stop this now it's not going to very often ha happen but it's something to be aware of and it will make you jump in the night if all of a sudden the telescope drops a little bit like that uh, which is just going back into how you set it originally before you had it set up um, in EQ just like that <laughs> okay so you need to make sure that that is well and truly nipped up and locked off um, to prevent that from happening now another little tip you can do in this little gap here especially on the eq2 mount you can put a little block of wood in there and that would stop this from pivoting down uh, the other word of warning i would say is that when you're actually using the telescope like this is to be aware of that and um to always, if you, you can leave this um, your uh, counterweight um, pole on, can't think of the word then, you can leave that on because if you know that your hands are always there, you've always got control and your hands are away for anything that, you know, may fall <laughs> over and nip your fingers in the night. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, I think I've covered what I want to cover with that. I hope that all makes sense to you um and give it a go and hopefully it's going to get some of those dusty old telescopes out of storage and back under the night sky where they belong oh one more point i just want to address uh when you do put the telescope tube back onto the um tube rings or dovetail whatever you're using you will need to rebalance it on its uh, horizontal uh because when you let go it may fall forwards or it may fall backwards like that uh, so just make sure that you get that center, centrally balanced and uh, you'll be good to go. Well, that's about it for another video, folks. I really hope this does uh, help some of you and uh, get those dusty telescopes uh, back outside. Uh, feel free to leave me any questions that you may have about this if uh, you, know, you want anything clarifying at all. Uh, but apart from that, take good care of yourselves and I will see you on the next one. Bye for now.